Nestled amongst a tropical forest on the Indonesian island of Bali, the green village stands to note the landscape that surrounds it. Inspired by nature, these whimsical, towering structures are made almost entirely from bamboo. I'd say the most rewarding aspect of working with bamboo is the opportunity to learn how to dance with something, to work with a material that you can't actually fully control. We're in the first decades of, of taking bamboo seriously as a construction material, and so it's showing us so much. The development is the brainchild of Elora Hardy, the founder and creative director of Ibuku, a design studio that uses bamboo and other natural materials to create sustainable homes. Bamboo is an incredible material because it grows on most continents in the world. It grows so bountifully here in Asia and across the tropics especially. It grows from a, a little shoot to a full mature pole within just three years. So that's an extraordinary thing for sustainability, for regenerativeness, for abundance and for the chance to be able to, to work and build with something that you're not worried about, not using too much of, that you're not feeling constrained about. While showing ambition, Hardy's creations serve as a monument to the possibilities of bamboo and its potential to revolutionize the building industry. Here, what was once considered a humble, prosaic material is elevated to new heights. Bamboo is not new. It has been used in the tropical parts of the world, especially for tens of thousands of years. It wasn't taken seriously as a long-lasting, useful material because it wasn't durable. And it's only now that we have safe, natural treatment solutions that we can consider building, like multi-story buildings or homes that should last for decades or even centuries. I think as designers, we have a responsibility to reinvent everything. In the coming decades, you'll see skyscrapers and even whole cities that can be built out of bamboo. They won't look like anything you've seen built out of bamboo before because what we've done here is just one little fragment of possibility. We need to think about what we want the future to look like and design that instead of trying to tweak the past. <laughs>